hello everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to learn about how we can create a custom connector out of microsoft graph api to do a batch operations i have already done many videos on ms graph api calls how you can access sites how you can do an operation batch details but in this video we are going to talk about how we can do a multiple uh, request or a do a batch of requests using ms graph api while creating a custom connector so for that First of all, I'll just open MS Graph Explorer so that I can explain you what we are intended to do over here. So I've opened it and in search, I would search for batch operation. So I'll click on this combine of post and get request. Consider a scenario where you want to do a multiple get and post operation and then later on like uh, pass the result of those responses and do some other subsequent actions. So for that case, like rather than having multiple actions for individual MS Graph API calls, we can combine those requests into one batch and do a batch calling over here. So right now, I'll just replace one of the batch which is already there. So I, if you look at it, it's a request is holding up URL and URL is for displaying current user's job title and it's a get call and we have the other get calls related to my messages my to-do list so i can just copy this entire request and can do a batch call and run my query and in response if i just scroll down you will see in response i have got the response of individual api calls it's a 404 for different for my to-do call and it's the response for my other call so individual failures and responses you can track as well so now we are going to create a custom connector into our power automate so that we can do all this batching operation within one single action and before starting creating of any custom connector we have to create a app into our microsoft azure portal so i've opened portal.azure.com and i'll just go to our azure ad where i will start registering our custom app to make a call to ms graph apis so I'll just click on the app registration and I'll create a new app and I'll call that as MS Graph API app and we'll be tying up this with the account as organization directly and I'll register it and as soon as it's registered I'll create we have to copy this application ID and I'll create one uh, certificates to it and over here I'll just create a new client certificate you can set the certificate expiry and add it so just copy this value of this secret client secret so that we can able to use this client secret when we are going to create our custom connector and as well as I'll just copy my application ID as well app client ID as well so that we can use this so I have copied them and now in next step in the API permission we have to set the API permission for our MS graph I'll just click on add permission and I'll choose MS graph API and we'll be working with the delegated permission for making a bulk, uh, bulk calls or the batch call and I'll set up the permission to related to some directory let's say so reading out the users from directory I'll just that that access user all add permission i'll i'll keep on doing this for other stuff uh let's say i wish to like read the emails as well messages and email so i've done accessing this site as well uh to just add this permission to access sharepoint site so that if we wish to make a call to sharepoint sites we can able to do a site sort full control all these has been added and I'll just click on grant admin consent so that the request related to this can be executed by individual person as a delegated permissions so we are done with the Azure app registration and now we can start creation of our custom connector so I'll just go to custom connectors and we'll start creating one custom connector from blank and I'll name that as MS graph batch connector and we are going to pass on the HTTPS and hostname is graph.microsoft.com and in 
security we are going to choose the authentication as over 2.0 and we are going to choose the identity provider as Azure Active Directory and over here we are going to pass on the client ID and client secret which we copied from our previous steps so I'll just copy this client ID and paste our generated client secret and authorization URL is already filled and we are going to put the resource URL as microsoftcraft.com I'll just copy this URL and paste it in the resources and over here in the redirect URL so this is important so once we create it we have to copy it and provide the authentication URL into our uh, Azure app registration which we did so I'll just create first of all create it and then in the next step we'll do that so now we are going to create a new action and add action let's say it's a batch action batch request execute and batch id is batch the operation id is batch and visibility will just say important and we'll do a import from sample and this is a post call and in the uri the uri we have already copied that is the batch uri so this is the same uri which we actually did a test call so we are going to bind this url over here and in the body we are going to pass the body as blank as of now and keeping the header as is and import so once it's imported we'll just going to create a connector out of it so our connector is created i can directly go to the test and over here when i click on new connection I would expect an error because we haven't done the authentication part so right now you can see no reply address is registered for this application so we have to register the address which we set up in the securities so if I scroll down we have this redirect URL address and I just copied it by clicking here and I went back to my this app registration and for my app for authentication I click on the authentication and in add platform I have to click on web so that redirect URL can be validated and I'll paste my redirect URL over here and configure it so it's done now if I try to do a again one test then this new connection should work this time so now we did not get any error and once we do a test operation so in body I'll just pass on this body which we have over here and do a test. I'll just pass on this as a raw. So now we got our response. So first is 404 that's not found and 49 not found but for others we got the responses. So it's an individual responses for all our requests we'll get. So this connector has been created. Now we can start using this connector into our any of the flows. So I can go to my flow and I'll just start creating from instant cloud flow. I'll just choose a manual trigger and it's a new designer. I can just filter by custom and in custom if I scroll down I will find my this MS graph patch connector and as I used it it added my this action to it and I can pass out my this parameters to it and parameter is this body and in body I can pass on my request which we copy over here like this and we can name this as batch call for ms graph and I'll just save it and we can do a test run so now our batch got executed and on the left hand side if you see it so you can see the input parameter what we what we passed and the status code as 200 and individual body as response so you can parse this body for the individual request for parsing the output or response of individual request what we made so in subsequent steps if we wish to like do any further operation related based on the response of this body you can do that.
so the objective of this video to make you familiar with the batch operation so rather than doing a multiple calls to ms graph api to get individual requests we can do we can very well do this patch where we can just combine all the requests and do get a response in a combined way so that's it for today's video if you have any question please feel free to drop your comments and thank you